Uh, we saw yesterday, and uh, we we spoke each other. We congratulate each other for the for the game we played. And today we have training in the afternoon. Still, I didn't I didn't see them. Um, what kind of a, a reaction have you had from the players after that? And, and what are you hoping for in terms of what they do next? I don't know. I hope uh, our best. Uh, we have five games from the Premier League and the FA Cup, and and tomorrow we'll have another game against Tottenham, and and we'll see. Does that game influence your approach to this game and perhaps your team selections and things like that? Well, we'll see today how the people recover from the the big effort mentally and physicality for the last game, and after we're going to take a decision tomorrow morning yeah, or tonight, because tomorrow morning we will play. Early on, uh, we'll see in terms of selection. And obviously, you're still going for the Premier League title. They're still going for, for Champions League qualification as well. So do you expect a similarly intense game this time around? I think so, yeah. When we lost against Monaco first year after we played Liverpool at home, so it's where it's a scheduled fixture. And, and do you need to motivate your players at all for this game? Or have you seen a reaction in, in training the last couple of days? Yesterday, the guys who didn't train, didn't play the day before trained really well, as always. And the other will make a recovery. I didn't see them after the, the training. And today, I'm going to see them. And, and for you personally, how, how long did it take you to get the disappointment of Wednesday out of your system? Did you wake up Thursday and just think, we've got so much more to go for this season? No, if you believe it doesn't hurt, or if you believe uh, it's always forget it, it's, I would say no. So I don't want the players to forget what they live. I don't want to see my players. When the people expect, no, we forgot what do we leave in the Wednesday for the, for tomorrow. That is not truth. We will not be human beings. So we we'll take time. We we'll take long, but we have to live with that. We have to play or we have to compete with that feeling. That's nice. So what we leave uh, last Wednesday in terms of the emotion, in terms of just simple life, was incredible. We are fortunate to live. We are lucky to live it. So to pass in terms of few seconds. More than 65,000 people join and happy and, and the most exciting moment in one second where everybody devastated. So in just one second, there is not activity all around the world. You can put in these kind of limits and above, above, up, up and down in just terms. And the people cannot expect now it's over. Not impossible. Always will remain in our hearts because in the future we'll be with a, a small smile, but said, oh, it's a pity. You know, what the performance we did, I saw the game, it was incredible, the well we played in these stages, in this level. And uh, I mean, that is what it is. I, I don't want to see my players, it doesn't matter what happened Wednesday. I'd, I'd like to see them more it hurts, was uh, a pity. We were at the end close, you know, and 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 with this, I try to play tomorrow our game in uh, at 12.30 uh, here in the other stadium. So, in terms of performance, you'd be absolutely delighted if they did exactly the same thing tomorrow. Did you enjoy the game? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. So, that's good. That is important. And things up after I said before, I will answer tomorrow line up. I have to see them play today and we'll see. Do you have Zinchenko back in contention? Yes, they play? make part of the training, yeah. Hola, Pep. Paul Bayos. Um, for the feelings that and and the situations that you have lived uh, in your career, you have had like some really tight exits from the Champions League. Uh, I remember with Barcelona against Chelsea, with Bayern against Atletico de Madrid. Um, do you feel or think um, that the last one was one of the toughest or the toughest of your career so far? I think life is, 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 is it's just life. So I, I, I qualified for the first final of the Champions League with Barcelona when one shoot on target so many times, but maybe we didn't deserve it. And after we, there's many other situations that I think we deserve it. Uh, but I will never say because the opposite didn't deserve it neither. So it's football, it's life. So important is the, the, how you behave. So football, life, and everything is not easy. It's complicated, and you have to fight. You have to 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 compete against tough opponents. It's how we react. So it's incredible the way we react after one two. In that moment, the minds are played. They have to score three goals, and we scored it.
that we score another one for inches is offside and for the other situation that everybody knows. So we have to com live with, with these kind of situations, accept it. So it's not, it's inside on our hearts, it will be in our minds, but looking backwards, look, looking behind, is not going to help us to move forward. So it's what it is. It was a tough night, but the day after, stand up and move forward, football. And these kind of players will have another opportunity to show again it's, it's able to do that. So the football always deserve, they will, they will get back what, what these guys deserve. I don't know if it's this season and next season or in three or four years, but they, one day maybe we'll be in the same position and they will be more fortunate or luckier or more precise or whatever to, to go to next stages. So that is, we, we did everything in both games, in, 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 in there and here. When bad we were, and the way, how many shoots in target, the way we played, so it's nothing. It was fantastic, the, the players. And I think both teams are going to, to attack them in, in, in his way. So long balls to Llorente or Lucas Mora, second balls, attack runs in behind, the balls in the side, channel outside, channel inside. Spade, good takers, good set pieces. The moment we miss one ball, run with the people up front. So we are going to attack a more positional game and attack. Uh, it's not easy because they are an incredible top team. We saw it in the last two games, and but we're going to try. City have the best record um, in the meetings against the top six. What is it against uh, about these games that motivate you as a manager, the, the players, to give even more? But I would say when you are able to do a few months ago, 100 points in this stage, 23, motivated against big sides and the low sides. So we don't see which kind of opening. We are more excited, more, more uh, focused. If don't, you cannot achieve what we achieved in the last 20 months, 22. It's impossible. And to end with, of course, you said that, uh, oh, you keep on saying that Barcelona are the best team in the world. Liverpool have to play them twice in six days and Newcastle away in the middle. Could that be a margin that helps, you think, in the title race? Title race is win tomorrow at 12.30. That is a title race for us. What Liverpool can do against Cardiff, against Newcastle, against the other teams, really, honestly, I'm not involved. I am concerned a lot to thinking about this week, you know, again, this three weeks in one week against... Tottenham United and Burley, and the others, I don't know. I cannot control it. Hi, Pat. Uh, Ian Beddo, ISN TV. The, the last few weeks and months, the word we hear in here is quadruple. All we've heard is quadruple. Now that's out of the way, in a strange way, is it a relief that we're not talking about it now and maybe you can just express the team can express themselves without this worry of a quadruple over their heads? No. Why? I would prefer to be in semi-finals of the Champions League and ask me why the quadruple is closer. Mm -hmm. And in the same way of what he's, what he's just said there, now you haven't got the Champions League, does that give you an advantage in the Premier League? No. In these stages, no. It's when you're in November, December, when you have more and more games than the other ones and the opponents would happen. That's case, like uh, Liverpool was out, went out from Carabao Cup and the Cup quite earlier. That is an advantage for them. We played, I think, nine or ten more players games than them. But in this stage, when it's so close to the end of the season, as much games you have and close for the titles, that isn't any influence to have more rest and less rest. It was, it was a little bit the fact that we didn't have too much time to prepare specific things against Tottenham, you know, because after Brighton, two days there, we don't have time to, to train anything, and this game was quite similar. But it's because we play in all competitions. We have been out for the FA Cup, we had more time. So, but it's what it is when you play, I said many times, when you play for all competitions, uh, until now, that is the situation you have to live, and it's a challenge, was challenge, and we deal it really, really well. Uh, so that's why I don't have complaints about that. Uh, you, you know my opinion about the VAR. You know. So no, nothing changed. So, yeah, of course, if you tell me it hurts, what happened? Yeah, a lot. <coughs> it was tough, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm support. So, because only I want to try, you know, the referees, the human beings, we can make a mistake like everybody. 
the BAR appear to be helped, you know, to do make a mistake, let's try to don't make a mistake with BAR. When we accept the mistakes from BAR, it's better to accept BAR and go to the referees. So they can take time and longer, you know, in seconds and minutes to see the images and different angles to try to be is, is or not is. So if I make a mistake in BAR, after that I'm not agree with BAR. You have to take one minute, two minutes, five minutes until the right decision. Uh, but I am I support it in the for the first time and I support it I think will be fair. So if the goal from Rahim in the last minute that he was offside at the end is goal and Tottenham go out for one offside is not regular, it's so tough for Tottenham, I don't like that. We were to the semi-finals for the FA Cup for no one goal from offside from Sergio in Swansea game. And Swansea game is not nice for them, you know, 2-2, two, two, we play so good, we create the chances and we win and go to semi-finals. Against Brighton, with one goal, is not regular. It was offside. So that's why we are RIF support him a lot, to be fair. You know, that is that is what it is. And other managers, they are not agree with the BAR. Maybe now they are, but they 